Instead of your heartbeats faster, why not just act a bit faster? Instead of just thinking about it, why not do something about it? Hello everyone. Welcome to EcoSurvive.com. My name is Abdulaziz Obutoyimbo and I'm here to take you through the training on interior decoration. That is creative interior decoration. Um, creativity is very, very important in all fields, whether you are in banking sector, whether you are in the manufacturing sector, whether you are in the agricultural sector, whether you are in the aviation sector, the educational sector, anywhere, any field, any sector, the use, the application of creativity is very, very important. It brings innovation and it brings um, ingenuity to any um, project that is being handled. So I'll just take you through um, the basis of this creativity decor. Um, before I take you through, I'll just show you some samples. We actually call the name, just like I said earlier, creativity decor. And look at the samples of some of the um, creative interior decors we have done. Um, if you can look at it, we have wall decor that can be used to beautify the offices, your home, you know, religious places. And it may come in form of table stand, it may come in form of wall decor. Like with me here, this is an Islamic decor and it's Masha Allah, this is a wall decor, you can see, just hang it on the wall, you hang it, so this is a wall decor, and another sample of it here is, nothing is above God, you can see it, it's also a wall decor, you can just hang it, so I don't have any of the table stand, but the table stand just works like, you know, just standing on the table, we have some hooks that, you know, just like this, we just, you know, mount it at the back and it's also okay for the table. The benefit it has is it actually reawakens your target audience, you know, consciousness. Whether it is being structured, it is generic, you can structure it. These ones are structured majorly for religious purposes, whether in the mosques or in the churches. But it is generic. We may have the one that is being structured to capture, you know, different sectors, you know, different fields. It depends on your target audience. So it, may, it is customizable. That's number one. You need the second thing. The first one is, you know, is generality. It is generic. All sectors, you know, can use it. And it's also customizable. You can have it customized for the particular sector or the particular audience you are trying to reach. Number three is that the awakening of the consciousness. For instance, now, let's say I hang this on the wall at home. Maybe I'm a Muslim. And I hang it on the wall at home or in the office. Each time I see this, I'm always conscious of, you know, my responsibility towards the Creator. Or similarly, maybe I hang this I'm a Christian and I hang this in, in the church. Nothing is above God. You understand? So, if I'm looking at this every morning, the consciousness, you know, increases. And that is a unique advantage, a unique benefit of this decor. The design scope is very, very wide. It's beyond, you know, uh, current plan and thinking now. Um, all the designs, uh, may be classified based on the shape. You can see the shape. We have different shapes. We have square. We have the round, and we have rectangular. And we also have, you know, this is a customized one. You can see the edges. You can see. So it's very very wide. The shapes can be done in the way you think. It can be done. That's creativity for you. You cannot, you know, 
get an actual, you know, uh, shape, depending on how you how creative you are. It's also based on the color. You can see different colors. This one, the edges, is, is made with yellow, and you have the surface to be white. You can see this. You can see the mixing, you know, of the colors. That's another thing. And also the dimension. The dimension may be portrait, may be landscape, or may be round. Portrait, you can see portrait like this. If we finish the design, we may conclude based on the dimension. If our structure needs to be portrait, that means the design must be done like this. Because you're going to hang whether it's going to be hangable on table stand. So you can also have the landscape. So that's another um, design categorization. Another thing is that um, you can have the different, you know, dimension in terms of the the texture of the material we're using. This is a plywood. This is an MDF plywood. You can have the design to be used on MDF, MDF plywood. You can also have it on a partitioning of, you can see this, this is a mixture of straw board, she board and foam. You can see, straw board, she board and foam. That's another design concept we also use. Just like to understand, for you to understand better, you can see. You can see how it is. So, design scope is very, very wide. 